Welcome to another video. Welcome to Wild Side and I'm here in a very busy Blackpool town centre. Yeah, there's loads of people around today. It's a Friday afternoon. As I'm filming this, it's around about half past two. And it's uh, Rebellion. We've got Rebellion, yes. It's the second day of the Rebellion Festival. Absolutely huge. Festival brings thousands of people into Blackpool. The Punk Festival, of course. Absolutely massive. And what I thought I'd do in this video is we'd take a look around and uh, see what it's like. So this is where I am at the moment, just across the road from Blackpool North. And just over here we've got the new, the all new Holiday Inn. I wonder if there'll be any punk staying in there. I think there will. I think they'll be staying all over the place. It's going to be pretty busy in Blackpool this weekend. As the rebellion gets going, second day, like I said today, Friday. And let's have a look around, shall we, and see what's going on. This is Bickerstaff Square, by the way. These are the council offices here. All shiny glass buildings there. Uh, Bickerstaff Square, named after John Bickerstaff, who uh, was the next mayor of Blackpool. Very instrumental in getting Blackpool Tower built. Uh, What's this here? Railside brew house. We've got a new brew house going in here. In this unit here, yeah. I think it was a coffee shop last time. So, will it work as a brew house? What do you reckon? In fact, when this was a coffee shop, I don't even remember it. But it looks like they're putting these planters up outside as well, so people can sit outside. What do you reckon? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Anyway, um, I'm going to make my way to the centre of town, see if we can find some punks. I haven't seen any, well I've seen, I've seen a couple, but I think when we get closer to, uh, say the Winter Gardens, because it's, uh, that's where all the bands are playing, isn't it? The Winter Gardens, we'll probably see some more there. So we'll just uh, head along here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, by the way, if you, you love all things Blackpool. You'll get them on this channel, that building over there is a the new DWP offices which they're putting together. It's almost complete that. So there's going to be thousands of people working in the office there when it's eventually built. I'm going to try and make my way over there if I can get past all this traffic. Look at it, it's absolutely mental. I'll tell you something, we've got a bit of a breeze today. Yeah, it's nice and warm, but uh, we've got a nice Blackpool breeze. Yeah, that'll keep the temperatures down a bit, but the weather's not looking too bad for this weekend. So, uh, just coming down to Topping Street. This is Topping Street down here. We've got some outside the Washington. The Washington pub here. A very popular pub here in Blackpool. If you like your fish and chips, uh, this is, uh, how are you doing, you okay? Right. The Yorkshire Fisheries, very, very popular fish and chip restaurant here in Blackpool. Are Check you them out if you're coming. Just had to cook there for a little while, talking to some friends of the channel. So this is Topping Street, it's quite swanky Topping Street, it's quite lively. Nice restaurants and shops down here. This is a new one, San Marcos. And uh, ooh, a bit of noise over here. We've got a pub down here called Churchill's. There's a lot of them outside Churchill's. It's always a cracking atmosphere when rebellion's on. Check it out. But that pub there used to be called called the criteria i'm trying to think back to the old days because used to go in there years ago i'm going back to the 90s now so fancy head is going on there i'm going to head down this way now because this leads through to the main square in Blackpool. The music ball over the place. 
Oh, well, there's a lot of music. Someone carrying a beatbox there. We're just at the back of the Abingdon Street Market. Well, let's have a little look in here, actually, because this is quite fancy, this. It's uh, basically a big food court, if you're not aware. It used to be a market. It still is, sort of, but they split it up into a, quite a fancy food court. Just look at this, look. Come on, look at all these people. Wow. Oh, my goodness, look at that. You get all sorts of food in there from around the world. Check it out if you come into Blackpool. This is Cedar Square. They've even got trees here. Trees are a bit of a rarity in Blackpool, actually. Again, we've got some nice restaurants here. Italian restaurant. We've got Ziggy's over there. That's really, really good. Le Plonk Wine Bar. Yeah, it is quite fancy here. And see the square merges with St John's Square just over here. I remember years ago when we used to have gardens. Does anybody remember when we used to have gardens in Blackpool? They're a bit of a rarity now. As you can see, it's all pedestrianised here. They've taken away all the, um, the seats, actually, because there was a load of picnic tables here. They've taken them all away now, actually. I thought they'd have left them out myself, but uh, as you can see, <laughs> Look at this. Wow, they're all over the place around here. St John's Church there. This is the main church in Blackpool. This is what you see when you're coming into Blackpool. This really sticks out. That steeple there is uh, quite a landmark, actually. Probably the second biggest landmark you see when I mean, you're coming into Blackpool, unless you, unless you count the water tower. But look at this. What an atmosphere, folks. Wow. Rebellion. That's a bit loving the pictures taken. Just over here we've got uh, how are you doing? Okay. Blackpool working Newfoundlands. Look at these dogs here, look. Wow. You okay? <laughs> Wow, just, that, that's a dog and a half, that, isn't it? Look at that, wow. How are you doing, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Is, isn't it? Hi, Gold. Any fit, is it? There we are. Oh, ten God, seconds, go wait ten oh, seconds. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We got there in the end. You were in the Mac Masters together as well. Brilliant. Thanks Leave very on much. Cheers. Sorry? Lee Bon is still on from. Yeah, he should be around somewhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, yeah. So where, whereabouts are you visiting? Yeah, we're from Bolton. Ah right, so you're not too far away then, no, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Too far away. yeah. So nice, yeah. nice to see you. Take Bye. Care. Just tapped into some fans there from Bolton. Someone's got a parrot here. The dogs are having a bit of fun here. It's all going on here in Blackpool. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously we've got the rebellion crowd and uh, get a lot of other things happening at the same time as well. A lot of other people. There's lots of beer drinking going on, but one thing about the rebellion is that you'll not get any trouble with the pumps. So it's actually taking place here at the Winter Gardens. So just outside the Winter Gardens now. So this is like the main entrance here, as you can see. So that's where all the bands will be playing. That there's the Vintro Lounge. Oh, look at this, isn't it awesome? I do think that we might get some rain later, so just check it. Could rain this evening, but at the moment it's looking pretty good. As I head down Church Street, just outside the Vintro Lounge. 
look pretty busy in there. Some more big hairdos going on here. I'm heading down Church Street. It's pretty busy in Blackpool today with the Rebellion Festival. I'll probably come out again tomorrow. down this way now. This is Coronation Street, part of the pedestrian house as you can see. I'm just going down the side of Marks and Spencer's and there's another entrance to the Winter Gardens down here as well. So they're just warming up at the moment I'd say. I think tomorrow, tomorrow and Sunday there'll be quite a few more I think. But if you get a chance to go to the Winter Gardens and you come to Blackpool it is a pretty awesome, a pretty awesome venue. We've got these. You don't mind having the picture taken. No, it's a it's a good atmosphere. A really really good atmosphere in Blackpool during Rebellion. Let's get a shot of the tower, shall we? There you go. Look at that there. Check it out, Blackpool Tower. We'll just have a quick look down here. Yes, I'm good, Stephen. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> OK. I sent you an email the other day about... Just had to break away there, OK. So, uh, well, let's have a little look down here, shall we? We've sort of got Blackpool Tower there. We've got to get Blackpool Tower in. Come on. So we're just walking down. This road here is called Victoria Street. And as you can see, this is completely pedestrianised. So how we're we looking for a Friday? I've, obviously, the, the rebellion brings loads of people in, but it also has a knock-on effect as well, of course. You know, but the hotels are going to be pretty packed today, and all the shops are going to be doing pretty well with all these people coming in for rebellion. So we'll head down here. I'll tell you what, we'll head towards the promenade, shall we? And see if we can see any on the promenade. As we go past this shop here, that's a new shop there. The merch department. Yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments. Are you coming to Blackpool this weekend? Are you coming to Blackpool just to visit Blackpool? Or are you coming for the, re the rebellion? So I'm just making my way to Blackpool Promenade and the wind's getting up a little bit. It's a nice breeze there. By the way, I've just been speaking to a really nice chap there. He does YouTube here in Blackpool. He's called Upside Down Head Travels. I think that's what his name is. He does food reviews and that sort of thing. I'll put a link to his channel in the description if you want to check him out. I've now made it to Blackpool Promenade and uh, it, it looks like I've uh, <laughs> come away from all the punks by the look of it. <laughs> Can't see any around it. <laughs> but I'll be back out tomorrow. I'll be back out again on the Saturday. Let's see if I can make it across the road. Head on to the comedy carpet, shall we? Look at this now, look. Oh, it's always busy in Blackpool, look at this. We're just in front of the famous Blackpool Tower now. Let's have a look from the front, shall we? So let's get a little look at the comedy carpet here in Blackpool. Doesn't really look all that busy on here, does it really? <laughs> Let's have a look at the beach, shall we? So this is the ENV Eco team. The bin team here on Blackpool Promenade. They're just uh, 
coming along here and they're emptying these massive bins here by the way they've got 284 of these 284 bins is that 284 bins all together 284 bins all together i believe yeah i've just been speaking to the guy there so if you're coming to blackpool please take your your litter off the beach and put it in one of these bins there's plenty of bins there just emptying another one now over there check it out there you go so i've just come down here onto the sea wall in front of the blackpool tower and look at this wow there are quite a few people on the beach this is where they all are look at this now i know it's probably not like the the 50s and the 60s but still come on I can hear music coming from over there. I think it's coming from the central pier. So this is how it looks in Blackpool on a Friday afternoon. Second day of the Rebellion Festival. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? So there you go. That was a little look around Blackpool on a Friday afternoon, the second day of the Rebellion Festival. I'll be back out again tomorrow on the Saturday to see if I can see any more but it's looking pretty good the weather's good there's loads of people in town there's a great atmosphere and it's looking like it's going to be another great it's looking like it's going to be a great weekend this weekend anyway i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one